Did you know that sugar can actually cause hair loss? Hey, I'm Kieran Tudor, co-founder and expert hairstylist for Sensi. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the mechanisms at play which are involved with sugar and hair loss. New research in the area of nutrition suggests that the foods that we eat, particularly sugar, can actually have an impact on our hair's health. Before we dive into the sweet connection between sugar and hair loss, it's a good opportunity to give you a little crash course in the hair growth cycle because this is what is affected by sugar. So hair actually grows in cycles. You have the hair follicle which produces hair in its active growth phase. It then transitions to the telogen phase which is a resting phase where the hair is still attached but it's in its resting phase. This lasts for about three months then it transitions into its catagen phase. This is when the hair actually sheds from its follicle and falls out. And then the cycle begins with a new hair starting its journey in the hair follicle beneath it. Now sugar affects this process because how it affects the body means that it can interfere with this hair growth cycle. And sometimes what that can do is cause more hair follicles than normal to enter the resting and shedding phase early. This can be a quite a bit of concern for men and women postmenopausal because sugar plays a role in something called insulin resistance and consistently high blood sugar levels causes an increase in insulin levels as well. What this does is it can actually interfere with the hydrotestosterone which is an androgenic hormone which is also responsible for hair loss in men and women and that mechanism is where DHT, the hydrotestosterone, actually affects the hair follicles by miniaturizing the, the hair follicle and shrinking the hair follicle with each progressive hair growth cycle. So having a high sugar diet for those people that are uh, prone to this kind of hair loss can be uh, particularly worrying and particularly more damaging. So another mechanism at play where sugar can lead to hair loss is due to the fact that a high sugary diet can actually crowd out the nutrient absorption of the body so you're unable to actually absorb so easily the really essential nutrients vitamins and minerals that are essential for healthy hair growth so it's really important to reduce your sugar intake so that you're getting all the right vitamins like zinc and, and iron and b12 in your diet and that's going to contribute to healthier hair growth it's well known that sugar can cause stress and it can also increase uh, oxidative stress. Um, this is a kind of inflammation in the body. So where the mechanism at play for hair loss comes in is that obviously that's causing inflammation in the scalp. It can affect and damage the hair follicles and this kind of hair loss can actually be uh, irreversible. So it, it's better to reduce the damage over time with preventative measures and that really is just about monitoring your diet to try and reduce sugar intake. It doesn't mean cutting out sugar altogether, but obviously trying to be aware of the amount of sugar that you have in your diet is gonna really improve your hair longevity over time. The good news is that hair loss as a result of a high sugar intake is preventable and providing it's not been going on for too long, it's also reversible. It's really about incorporating a holistic method for promoting healthy hair growth. This includes, you know, taking uh, really optimal hair growth supplements to target the inside and using a really targeted, high performing hair care from the outside, such as uh, our on root scalp oil, which targets the hair follicles from the outside and feeds and nourishes the hair follicles with amazing essential oils like rosemary and peppermint and castor oil and doing practices like head massage on a daily basis, which really increase blood flow to the scalp. But the best preventative measures, of course, reducing the sugar intake, being a bit more mindful about the kind of carbohydrates you're eating and uh, trying to eat whole foods and avoid sort of hidden sugars that are in a lot of processed and pre-packaged foods. When it comes to healthy hair growth, there's some vitamins that are really, really essential for making sure that your hair growth is as optimal as it can be. So to start off with, you have vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and is also responsible for the production of collagen. And collagen is really good for creating smooth, young looking and healthy hair. Vitamin E promotes blood circulation in the, in the scalp and it's also an antioxidant as well, protecting the hair follicles. B vitamins, you have B6, B12 and B7, which is biotin. Biotin in particular is really important for hair growth because it's responsible for the production of keratin in the gut and keratin is the protein that hair is made from. It's also really important to get the right minerals in your diet or from your supplements as well. So things like zinc, and iron and magnesium are all really great. Also silica, which is a mineral that the body produces naturally, but 
We produce less of it over time with age and silica is really important for the production of keratin and collagen as well. So not having enough of it in your diet and in your body naturally means that your hair strength can really suffer as a result. So silica is a key nutrient that we include in our 1011 hair supplement and a source from bamboo extract, which helps to give hair its strength, resilience and suppleness. So in conclusion, this was a video all about hair loss as a result of high sugar intake. The key things to remember is just to try and monitor and reduce your sugar intake overall, and really just concentrate on the things that you can do to promote optimal hair growth from your diet, from taking supplements, and from your hair care routine. And that's why Centered, using the inside out method, is a really amazing way to care for your hair in a holistic, healthy, natural way. Thanks for watching.